So you guys have been reaching out pretty much on a daily basis asking me to make funk, but here's the thing. I don't know what that is. <laughs> so yeah, today we're gonna fix that. I'm giving myself 24 hours to figure out what is funk, where does it come from, and more importantly, can we make some? Can we make some funk by the end of this video? I hope so. <laughs> Okay, so what is funk? Just kind of explain it to me like I was five. Funk comes from this older genre of rap called Memphis rap. 808 cowbells, like these little jingle bells. You said jingle bells? That's crazy, okay, I'm gonna have to try that. Okay, so if you had to give me like three songs that I can kind of listen to that represent the genre and that I can just kind of understand what it sounds like. Ghostface Player, I don't give a f Ryan C, Devil's Word. Okay, I'm never, I'm never gonna remember oh. this guy. <laughs> can you just put him in the chat, please? Yeah, bro, no worries. All right, thanks, dude, I appreciate it. Okay, we finally got our three genre defined songs. I'm excited. First up, we got Ghostface Playa. I don't give a f nope. Ooh. We got the vocal sample, we got the cowbell melody, hard Real quick, sorry for the interruption. If you're enjoying the video so far, please don't forget to subscribe button, the notification bell. We gotta get to 200k, so... I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, whoa, we're only one song in. I'm already a huge fan of funk. This is awesome. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Next song, Freddie Dread, Devil's Work. Ooh. This one's just nasty. <laughs> That's awesome. Bro, I love funk. <laughs> I just discovered the whole world. All right, we got one more song. This is Clone Me by Jadisi, Jadesi. I don't know. Let's listen to it. Hell yeah. I can't get over this sample, it's so good. Okay, three out of three. I loved every single one of these songs. They're all very, very different. I'm a huge fan of funk, officially. <laughs> Okay, so my plan was to listen to these songs and then jump straight into beat making, try to make something funk. But I feel like in order to give it justice, I gotta learn a little more about the history. I gotta dig a little deeper. Okay, wow, I just spent two hours going down a funk rabbit hole. <laughs> I literally watched every video I could find, read a bunch of articles. I am far from being a funk expert, but here's what I learned. When we hear people mentioning funk, we usually think of SoundCloud. We think of pimped out drift cars, some super grainy looking video aesthetic, and of course, cowbell melodies, sort of like this. In reality, funk is a subgenre of hip hop that has been around for 30 plus years. Yes, you heard that right, 30 plus years. It's crazy. Funk originated way before SoundCloud even existed in the underground hip hop Memphis scene in the 1990s. They didn't call it funk though, they just called it Memphis rap. I had no idea how much the Memphis rap sound has influenced current modern hip hop, like way more than I originally thought. Memphis rappers, I feel like they had such an underground scene and that's what, I, that's what I gravitated to. It's actually pretty mind blowing how ahead of their time some of these artists were like 30 years ago. It's, it's crazy. The production of Memphis rap was homemade. The artists didn't really have the budgets for music studios and the producers would mostly make beats on older, outdated, cheap analog gear and they would use turntables for samples. Some key elements of the production were catchy repeating vocal samples, really fast tempos and cowbell melodies paired with really dark, almost like violent lyrics. Man, man, killer on the run with the guns and hit my time, time. So when did the term funk actually come into play? Well, to answer that question, we need to fast forward about 20 years after Memphis rap. We're in the early 2010s and two artists by the name of Space Ghost Perp and DJ Smokey make their appearances with a few mixtapes heavily inspired by Southern underground hip hop, Memphis rap, and a more modern, almost like vaporwave lo-fi sort of aesthetic. Anyway, during the second half of the 2010s, funk made its way to Europe and specifically Russia, where it kind of blew up. This was really unexpected and it's a really odd connection between old 90s Memphis rap and Russia, I don't really get it. So if you know anything more about that, please write it in the comment because I am genuinely really curious. I would love to know how that happened. <laughs> anyway, Russian drift funk has become the 2021 standard for this genre and ultimately takes us back full circle to this clip. This is so cool. <laughs> 
Before we make this beat, before I forget, I wanted to remind you guys about my brand new newsletter, The Full Time Producer. I've been investing a ton of work into this project. It's completely free and it's got the best music production news of the week, free plugins, mini tutorials, discounts, just basically a one-stop shop for everything music production every week in your inbox for free. I'm gonna leave a link at the top of the description. Go sign up, it's completely free. You're gonna love it. <laughs> All right, let's go make some funk. I'm so nervous for this. All right, let's do it. <laughs> I think we're gonna start simple. We need a cowbell. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Let me figure out the tempo. One seventy four. Damn, that is so fast. <laughs> Okay, I literally put down like three notes, but my confidence just 10x. <laughs> We're gonna make something crazy. Okay, what can we add next? Ooh, we can definitely do something with that. Whew. Perfect, we need more sounds. Okay, so I'm gonna take this sound, I'm gonna chop it up and kind of give it more of a rhythm that fits with the melody. Dude, this is gonna be so fire. <laughs> Okay, so I decided to put Shaper Box on that sound with a noise shaper. This allows me to add that sort of like vintage noise, but keeping it in rhythm and in sync with the beat. By the way, you guys see me using Shaper Box on pretty much every single video, and the noise shaper is one of the latest things that they added, and honestly, it's one of my favorite ones. Oof. Anyway, shout out to Cable Guys for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. Right now, they're having a huge sale on Shaper Box, so I'm gonna leave a link at the top of the description. Go check it out. This is my first funk beat. This is, this is my, this is my first funk beat. <laughs> we need the vocal sample. This is my first funk beat. This is, this is my, this is my first funk beat. This is, this is, <laughs> this is stupid. I hope it's gonna work. This is my first funk beat. This is, this is my, this is my first funk beat. This is, this is my, this is my first funk beat. This is, this is my, this is my first funk beat. This is, this is my, this is my first funk beat. Dude, this is crazy. <laughs> Next up, we need some drums. Okay, I'm gonna go into my sample pack trilogy, RB Speakers Volume 3, snare number four? No, maybe it was five. Yep, that's the one. Let's go! Ooh, you know what we need? We need a siren. I know it's a little cheesy, but I'm gonna go with the classic, Kill Bill Siren. This is a fact. You can put this on any beat and it's gonna make it at least 20% harder. I'm gonna EQ out like most of it. I want it to be like really thin. I think that's good. Perfect, what did I tell you? <laughs> All right, let's do 808s. Eight Alright, here's the final beat. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching the video. Peace.